This week's book of the week is The Crossover by Kwame Alexander. I picked this one because it was at the top of the Battle of the Books list for 2015-2016 and I'm so glad that I picked it up. It's written in verse and I think that's really interesting because it's something that oftentimes can feel distracting if you're not used to reading that kind of book. But in this case, the narrative and verse really adds a kind of rhythm that fits really well both with the jazz music imagery that's in the book and the basketball timer and the squeak of shoes on the basketball court. It just lends itself to a really great percussive feeling. So this is about two twin brothers. They are both basketball aces in junior high school. The three primary characters in this book would be Josh, who's our narrator, his brother JB, and their dad, who is a former basketball star. The book is really about their relationships as a family, especially the relationship between the two brothers and how complicated that can sometimes be. And it's also about basketball. The narrator really loves the game. He's good at it and he likes talking about it. There are some really serious things that happen in this book, but there's also some really great basketball scenes and countdowns, a lot of suspense and family drama. I'm going to read one passage, which is taking place when Josh's brother, JB, is paying more attention to his new girlfriend than he is to the game or to Josh. Gym class is supposed to be about balls. Volleyballs, basketballs, softballs, soccer balls, sometimes sit-ups, and always sweat. But today, Mr. Lane tells us not to dress out. He's standing in front of the class, a dummy laid out on the floor. Plastic, faceless, torso cut in half. I'm not paying attention to anything he's saying or to the dummy because I'm watching Jordan pass notes to Miss Sweet Tea, and I wonder what's in the notes. Josh, why don't you come up and assist me? What? Huh? The class snickers, and before I know it, I'm tilting the dummy's head back, pinching his nose, blowing in his mouth, and pumping his chest 30 times, all the while thinking that if life is really fair, one day I'll be the one writing notes to some sweet girl, and JB will have to squash his lips on some dummy's sweaty mouth. So that's just one passage about something totally normal happening in a class, but it's written in such a way that it's so interesting and so stream of consciousness. I think that anyone who likes sports, anyone who likes stories about family, anyone with a brother or sister who knows how complicated those relationships would be, all those people would love reading this book. I highly recommend it.